I got an amazing gift in the mail today for my birthday. Two lobsters straight from Maine, from Luke's Lobsters. My wife had them sent to me. I was really excited. On my doorstep was a perishable box. I'm like, this is really cool. So I'm really looking forward to eating them. I'm going to show you guys how to cook them the right way. Thank you, Mel, for getting these for me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the button below. Thanks for joining me. This is Loud Boy. Let's go get them. And here they are. The one on the left is Bob, and the one on the right is Timmy. My son named them. All right, Timmy and Bob, you guys ready? All right, let me check on a couple things. I'll be right back for you. Okay. So one of the best methods is to steam your lobster. So I have two or three inches of boiling water, okay, and steam will do the rest. Now, what you want with your water is liberal amount of salt. I'm using big old pinches of kosher salt here. Ah. You want it to taste like the sea. And then gotta stir up, making really nice salty water. Of course, best mates are melted butter and lobster. So we will use the simple device of the microwave to melt the butter. We could go clarify butter with this, but um, you know what? I don't really care. I don't mind some milk solids in there. So let's microwave this. It's a pro tip. This is a chopstick. Put that in and when it hits boiling point, it will not boil over. The chopstick prevents that the bubbles stick to it. So there you go. Put a chopstick in anything you're, that you attempt to boil in a microwave. It'll make your life a lot easier. Before we put them in the water, we need to take off their rubber bands from their claws. So just cut those off real quick. Oh, yeah, I know. Start, don't start getting snappy on me, guys. They know the end is nigh. All right, Timmy and Bob. Here we go. Rubber band's off. Time to go in the water. Once it's time to cook, they're only going to cook for about 14 minutes. I'm going to hike this heat up real high. You want to get them in there as quickly as possible. You don't want them to suffer too much. There we go, they're in. Hike that because they're gonna cool off the water, so we don't want the steam and the, the boiling to go down too much. And now they'll cook for about 14 minutes or so, definitely until their shells are red. And here we go. I see red lobsters. So we don't want overcooked lobster. We take them out, and then we stop the cooking by shocking them. Okay, we're shocking the lobster in an ice bath. Time for Bob to come out. Bob goes into the ice bath. Sometimes you have a like, little residual weirdness that comes out of them. It wasn't a living organism 14 minutes ago. So, here we go, Bob. Enjoy that ice bath, buddy. Enjoy it. Ah, oh, you had to do it, didn't you? As Bob and Timmy look on, I'm gonna show show them their final image. Beautiful, drawn, melted butter. Not clarified, because I don't care. And there we go. Two main lobsters from Luke's Lobster and melted drawn butter. Happy birthday to me. Seemed appropriate. I broke out grandma's serving dish. I have one of the little cracker deals and a picker fork. This is normally not good enough. I normally go get the, uh, the actual pliers from the toolbox, but I digress. It's time for some lobster.